Now, one former child soldier who has successfully adjusted to civilian life is Emmanuel Jal of Southern Sudan. Now he's a successful musician using his talent to raise awareness about the plight of vulnerable children. Left home at the age of seven. One year later, I lived with an AK-47. By my side, slept with one eye open wide, one duck. Emmanuel Jal often reflects on his time as a child soldier. There are an estimated 300,000 boys and girls under the age of 18 living as child soldiers in conflict areas worldwide today. But despite the atrocities he witnessed or committed, Jal doesn't shield his pain nor spare his audience details of his life as a child soldier for the Southern People's Liberation Army. He says he survived by God's grace. I believe I've survived for a reason to tell my story to touch lives. I lost my father and mother in this battle. My brothers too perish in this struggle. All my life I've been hiding in the jungle. The pain I'm cutting is too much to handle. Who's there please to light up my candle? Jal says he uses music to support causes he cares about, such as Darfur, South Sudan, and world peace. Would you help me? Help me scream and shout. Let's scream and shout because we want peace. Another is girls' education. This concert is in support of the Adolescent Girls Initiative, or AGI, an event co-sponsored by the World Bank for young women from poor countries. It helps girls transition from school to work. She's like Michelle Obama, super mama. She's like Wakara Madai, touching sky. She's like... So if we empower more women, I think war in the war-torn areas will go down because no woman would want to see a child die, you know? And they want to give their children the best they could be so that they could compete in the society. One third of the estimated 600 million girls living in developing countries are out of school and unemployed, according to the United Nations. To address this, JAL founded Gua Africa to put girls in school and also recently broke a nearly two-year-old fast, eating just one meal a day to raise money to build schools for girls in Africa. Those 662 days, I think I've managed to reach a million people with the same concept. And so... On social media, I got support from all over the world, China, uh, Japan, Kenya, Tanzania, Uganda. And now when I came to the World Bank, I even got attention of the Nike Foundation through World Bank, donated $10,000. The Global Fund for Children gave $4,000, which was the last amount of money left. Though he now lives in London and has a successful musical career, Jal tells his audience he's forever humbled by the acts of British aid worker Emma McCune, who he credits for saving him from life as a refugee. Though she died soon after that, she made sure Jal had the support he needed. Jal says it is people like her who make the world a better place for people like him.